welcome to this short video on our latest analytics workbook brought to you by the team at Maiden. Our analytics service helps IAPTIS users to unlock the information in your datasets and reveal valuable insights. In this video, we will walk you through how to use the new IAPT Wait Times workbook. Updated nightly using your IAPTIS data, this workbook provides a quick and simple snapshot of referrals meeting or exceeding your wait time targets, looking at both time to assessment and time to treatment. Some of these replicate measures included in the NHS Digital IAPT monthly reports. Details of these measures can be found in the information button on each of the dashboards. To access workbooks in IAPTIS, navigate to Reports and Analysis and then to the Dashboards tab. You will see a list of all the workbooks available to your service. If you do not see the Dashboards tab, please talk to your super user and ask them to make dashboards available to you. As with all the workbooks, IAPT Wait Times opens with a welcome cover page to navigate to the status page or each of the different dashboards. In this case, we have six dashboards to explore. Referrals open at the period end date waiting for a first assessment, number of days to first assessment, average number of days to first assessment, and then the same three dashboards replicated for treatment. So referrals open at the period end date waiting for a treatment session, number of days to a treatment session, and average number of days to a treatment session. Above the title, there may on occasion be some orange text, which we use to highlight information to you, like this is a beta workbook, or this workbook is missing certain data that we want to make you aware of, or it's a workbook that's going to be removed at some point. The status page provides a list of all the dashboards in the workbook and whether there are any issues with it. Rather than issues affecting the whole workbook, which will be highlighted on the cover, the status page holds information that affects a particular dashboard within a workbook. The referrals open at the period end date waiting for a first assessment dashboard is only looking at referrals that have no discharge date or the discharge date is after the date entered in the field. The single bar on the left shows the total number of referrals for the period. The charts on the right show this total split into more detail. The top chart shows the number of referrals for each week waiting, with each bar split by the selected dimension. The bottom chart shows the proportion of those referrals for the dimension selected. You can choose when to start the clock, either the referral receive date or the referral clock start date. The referral clock start date is either the referral date or, if the first contact was a DNA, the date of this dna contact. The filter box opens up additional filter options, but in this case also two target boxes. These are set to 14 days and 90 days, but you can adjust them if you want to have your own alternative target wait times. If you need to make changes to a number of filters, we would recommend that you pause refreshes using the button at the bottom, then apply your filters and then resuming the refreshing by clicking the button again. If you'd like to see what filters have been applied, you can click the All Seeing Eye button, which will provide you with a summary. You can split the bars on the chart by various dimensions. The default is the first assessment target date, ne appointment next date time. This dimension looks at the next appointment for each referral and whether the date of that appointment meets or exceeds your targets. It also identifies referrals with no next appointment booked. The first assessment target date period end date is a similar split but uses the date used in the first box here rather than the next appointment date. So as of the 26th of April it identifies the numbers of referrals that 
uh, currently meet target one and target two or miss target one but not target two or miss target one and target two. The days waiting for first assessment period end date band splits the referrals into those waiting 90 days or less and those waiting more than 90 days as per the data measure M030. If you have some outliers in your data who have been waiting a large number of weeks, the display weeks box shows the number that are displayed on the chart and defaults to 20 weeks. If you hold your mouse over the warning triangle, it will tell you what the maximum number of weeks waiting is. Unfortunately here the tooltip goes over the edge of the display screen, but it does say the maximum number of weeks waiting is 64 weeks, is above the number set display 20 weeks. Some referrals waiting will not be shown on the chart. If you have set the display weeks waiting to less than one of the target weeks, the axis will be expanded to include this target. So if I limit the number of weeks to eight, we will only show data to eight weeks, but the axis will be expanded so that we include target two set at 90 days. At the top right, there are some blue buttons. Here we have an information button, a demo button and a help guide button. The information button will identify which monthly data measures can be replicated on the dashboard and what options you need to choose to recreate that measure. It will also tell you which IAPT MDM V2 workbook and dashboard you can go to for further analysis on these measures and information on their definitions. You will be able to access this video from the demo button and the help guides provide some prompts to remember some of the key points on the dashboards. If you would like to download the charts or the figures behind the charts, use the download button at the bottom right of your screen. Using the target set in the filters box, this dashboard shows the number of days each referral waited for their first assessment. You will notice in the filters section that you can specify what proportion of the referrals have to meet that target. For example, 50% of the referrals to meet the 14 days target and 75% of referrals to meet the 90 days target. You can choose whether you want to look at referrals that were received between the two dates, had a first assessment contact, entered treatment, had a second treatment contact, third treatment contact, or referrals that ended between the two dates. As for the previous dashboard, you can choose whether you would like to use the referral receive date or the referral clock start date as the starting point for your wait times. The average number of days to the first assessment dashboard provides the mean and median numbers of days waiting. The bottom chart, number of referrals, is purely there so that you can get an idea of the numbers of referrals being included in the average calculations. The following three dashboards on treatment contacts follow a very similar format to the previous three ones based on first assessment contacts. You can choose the date that the referrals should be open on and then which treatment contact that you are interested in, so how many days the referrals have been waiting for a first treatment, second treatment or third treatment, and, and when to start the wait time. The targets for the treatment dashboards are independent of the assessment dashboards and again can be found underneath the filters button. Here we have them set to 42 days, which is six weeks, and 126 days, which is 18 weeks. As for the first assess wait dashboard, you can choose the referrals received, entered treatment, ended, etc. between the two dates and shows the number of days from the starting point to the end point. 
a number of monthly data measures can be replicated using this dashboard. This dashboard is the same as the average number of days to the first assessment, but is looking at the number of days to treatment session. You can choose whether you want referrals that were received or referrals that had a first assessment contact or enter treatment, etc. between the start and end date and what you want the starting point to be for that wait and the ending point. There will be some odd results if you try to look at the number of days waiting from a starting point which comes after the end point. So if I was to choose the second treatment date to the first treatment date. Don't forget, should you wish to refer back to any of these tips, you can click on the help guide to get some summary information on each dashboard. Simply toggle on and off the blue help guide button in the top right corner to see the overlay of helpful prompts. We are always looking for new ways to support your work, reduce the burden of administration and deliver the best care to patients. If there are any new features you'd like to see added to this or any other workbook, please contact us via support logs or IAPTIS Innovations and we'd be more than happy to talk through the details with you. Thank you.